Box game, box, box game, box band journal, box game. Hey, hey, easy, easy there. Hey, 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 it's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe, not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains. The west of Plain Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. All right, so calm down, Aloy. It's gonna be all right. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow. Still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines. In the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. Her name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So? If anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? Like, you ain't gotta be so powerful all the time. Calm down. So what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. Broken ribs? The mountains. West of Plainsong. There's trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted. Our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Trouble everywhere. 
You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. The land gods? Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us. Seeding and harvesting the fields of plains on. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered, year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes. Or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. The grave singer. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray hurt me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, Saw. So. Without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. Mm, this one. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. 
or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. Okay. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. Right, it's time for a change of clothes. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to. But I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... trying to say um yes then I look forward to more conversation uh yeah me too <laughs> you're supposed to be resting Laurel you should go with her I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <laughs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> get out of here. Okay. So, wait! Do you like him or something, Aloy? Who the hell is y'all? Who are they? <laughs> are we all better now? Okay. Yeah. Well, hold up. Dying lands. Now this so Ray. Somehow it's docile. Part of its programming, maybe. Plow horn. Okay. Can I rub you? All, right. All this green stuff. So how do we get up there? And what's, and what's up there? We do that later. But for now, let's head. Oh, Ooh, blight everywhere, blight everywhere. Start coughing.
like him. I'm gonna be like you in a minute. Hawking up shit. Excuse me. Dang, they got it bad. Stealth. This one pretty high. What's this one? A lightweight garment. Wow, extremely flexible. It supports the uh, person for fighting up close and personal. Hmm. I like this though. But we gonna we gonna rock this. Any grip. I'm gonna buy this one too, just cause we got the money for it. What we missing? Shell Walker. Okay. You got any shell walkers? Nope. Yeah. I like the new dude. I like the new dude. Now where does workbench at? Is it up to as well? Excuse me, excuse me, head to you guys workbench. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, the workbench might be down here. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> ah, that's messed up. Forgot to let the parachute out. My bad. My bad. Got their own music. Now, where's his workbench? Excuse me, excuse me. I'm looking for the workbench. Excuse me. What's up again? They're killing me. So I didn't. So I have to go buy the outfit all over again? I think I do. Yeah, I have to go buy the outfit all over again. God dang it. No running, children. Sorry, little one. I'm just running into their kids and shit. Let's buy this. Clip. Let's buy this. We'll be back for that. Alright, now let's. Oh, I'm swimming. Excuse me. Excuse me, frighten me coming through. Hey, where the bench should be? Right here? Okay, cool. And nope. Close. Let's upgrade this. Yep. Come on, really? That sucks. Create job. 
Yes. Let's see what this create job. I think this create job should help us go look for it. Not going to join in the singing? So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsome? He's supplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. You're like an old lady. Okay, thank you. I prefer the sound of me. Thank you, this is who I wanted. Resources. Do you have what I'm looking for? Do you, okay, you just got animals. So all you got is animals. So all you got is animals. Singing. As soon as I get my supplies, I'm heading back to the hunting grounds. You like my new outfit? I'm here, as promised. It's singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. And the subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. Okay, okay. So what happened to the land no, gods over this already. after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, and now they turn on us when they approach, even attack us. They had always enriched the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid, a, a blight that, that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we barely have enough to feed our children. Must be over fertilization, spread by spores. I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they're falling apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. We already went over that deep division. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. 
But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. Okay, what kind of machines? What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious. With a strange purple glow. Purple. Sounds familiar. You fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. All right, that'd be it. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. Fox gang, fox gang, fox bandana. Ah, yeah, you know the gang, you know the name. Fox bandana. Subscribe, hit the like button, watch the damn channel.